Hello and welcome everybody. This is the smelter tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to operate a smelter. First we build the smelter to the ground. Step in front of it and hit the interact key and this will bring up the smelter screen. On the lower section you have your backpack in the upper section you have the smelter screen. On the left side you have two chambers for the fuel items. These two chambers with the question marks are for the source items you want to melt. With the sandal here you can control the airflow through the smelter. Okay, let's try to melt iron ore. You will notice the bars. They will show you the temperature and time you need to melt one unit of iron ore. Now I put a fuel item here. You can see the temperature generated by the fuel item is enough and the time the fuel item will burn is also enough. Let's start the process. You can see the sign here. It's blue and the flashing question mark indicates you that you need more temperature to melt iron. So I raise the throttle of the smelter. You can see the sign is now green and the process has started. Now we can walk away and do other things until one unit is melted. So we made a little time skip. Two minutes in real time are over now. So I bring up the smelter screen again and the process has nearly finished. Let's wait until it's done. It's done and you can see you have melted iron ingots. Now we can stop the melting process, put the items back in the backpack and walk away. Now let's take a closer look to the smelter. Now we want to bake a bread. Put the bread into the sauce item chamber. And you can see we need less temperature and a very short time. Now I try to bake the bread with coal and you can see coal will generate too much heat for baking the bread. So I use three tiles and you can see three tiles are nearly enough. So I start the process, adjust the airflow and you can see the process has been made. Now we are going to make high-end steel. Put steel ingot here and chemicals. As you can see we need a high temperature and much time. So I put coal in here. As you can see coal will generate maybe two less heat. Now I put a tree tile here. You can see now with both fuel, fuel items we will generate enough heat. So we start the process. Adjust the airflow and you can see the process has started and is running. As always we can walk away and wait until it's finished. And that is all you need to know to operate a smelter. It's quite easy, isn't it?